Today we're having a look at the accessories and the prices that are involved in when you're first setting up your caravan. So stay tuned and we'll show you exactly what we've got. back to here we tow so what we're we doing today well as Jules already said we're looking at some of the accessories that we've purchased for our brand new caravan now this is useful if you've never had a caravan like us some of the bits that you're going to have to spend some money on because I know I think we've been a little bit surprised at how much we've had to spend not everything that we've bought is actually needed we've gone probably a little bit beyond but these are the things that we've wanted to buy so shall we go through these bits and give an idea of how much they cost so anyone that's starting out like us can have a bit of an understanding about the extra cash they're going to need. Absolutely and just to let you know as well what we've done is we haven't bought this all as one because we couldn't afford to we've, we've been buying little bits of as we've been going on just to make it a little bit more manageable so that we could uh, spread the outlay of the initial costs for caravanning so we'll give you a little look as to what of what we've got so that you can uh, get an idea of what might be needed for the caravan and your adventures. Absolutely, so let's now turn it into the shopping channel. So let's make a start, no particular order, just the way we've put it out. So things that you will definitely need. Here we have the water hog, a 51 litre water hog. There are other makes obviously but we've gone for that one. Along with it the larger waste hog. Those are essentials and uh, within this you also get the handle there. Prices will change, so I'll say you're looking at around £100 for those two items. As I say, prices will change. Here's our specialised Tow Pro cover that we did a vlog on before. That's for the front of the caravan. Again, depending on which model you get, prices can be from around £150 up to around £300. So again, that's something to factor in. We got a mid-range one on that. Here is our awning. This is going to be a big outlay for you. You don't have to have an, an awning. We decided we did. Although we've got a massive caravan, we've also got a big dog. We've got Jules and I. We've got possibly my mum coming with us on some of these adventures. So we want to be able to sit out and enjoy it. We've gone for the Van Gogh Kalari 380. Again, awning prices, you're probably looking at, well, £600 upwards really, depending on which make and model you want. So you're going to have to factor in some serious money for that. Gas. A lot of people go for Cala Gas. We haven't. We've decided to go for Safe Fill. Again, we will be doing a separate vlog on that. The Safe Fill bottle is a one off purchase. That was £160. You then connect it with a normal uh, propane pigtail, which again is a separate purchase. Ours was a uh, hand wheel one, which was £15. And then you fill that yourself with LPG. If you want further details on that, you can see the vlog that we'll be doing. So again, that's a separate purchase. If you choose the Cala, then you pay your rental fee for the one or two bottles, and then obviously you swap those over. The idea with Safe Fill, if you're using quite a bit of gas or using your caravan a lot in the long run, you will have the saving there. We've also then gone for the towing mirrors. These are generally essential and a legal requirement, depending on the width of your vehicle and the width of your caravan. There's other vlogs online if you want to know more about the legalities of it. We've bought stick-on ones due to the shape of our wing mirror. The, um, there were clip ones that clip on were not going to be suitable. We've paid £36 for a pair of towing mirrors. Again, depending on which ones you go for, you can be looking at £60-£70. Once we've set the caravan up, we may want to make sure it's level and it doesn't roll away. We've got the Milenko wedge level and the chocks. Um, I don't know how much they were, so I can't quote that off the top of my head, but I'd imagine you're probably looking at £20-£30. Another investment was our stacker corner feet, again Malenko ones. They're to go on your steadies once wound down, that's a pack of four. And also to go with those are the uh, Malenko stacker jacks there, just in case you uh, 
need a bit of extra height at the back or the front once you're setting up. For both those together, you're looking at around £25. As well as those, we've then bought some extra bits for the security of the caravan. We've got here the Alco wheel lock, which is specific for our Adria. Each lock has a certain code and will fit your wheel um, and receiver. That's generally a fixed price of £285, but it is um, insurance rated and the last thing you want is somebody to nick your caravan, don't you? So, as well as that, we've also got a hitch lock, which is over here. We've gone for a stronghold one, which fits uh, most Alco hitches, which our caravan will be. Uh, I believe that was around £75 at the current price. Uh, another piece of insurance approved security equipment, which is very important. Once it's secure and we've set it up, we want to make sure we've got somewhere to sleep. So you've got to think about your bedding. We've got pillows, a duvet, uh, we've bought a mattress topper and you've got your bedding set then, your pillowcases, the double duvet, the sheet. It's up to you how much you want to spend on, on bedding. I've not gone mad, I've got fairly cheap sets. Uh, some people, you want to spend a fortune and have Laura Ashley fabrics, you can do what you want for me. Um, but again, bedding from wherever you choose to get it. Once you've got your bed set up, you've got to think about your kitchen. I'm not very good in the kitchen, however, I do know, know that you need plates, mugs and bowls. We've just bought quite a simple Russell Hobbs uh, pack. We haven't gone for the uh, melamine, we've gone for just normal crockery. I think that set was about £20. If it gets smashed up, well, so be it, that's life. Um, it's up to you again what you spend your money on, whether you want the plastic or whether you're quite happy to set for a set like that. The reason we've gone for that is because I use the microwave a lot because I don't cook uh, very well. Um, and you can't put the plastic and acrylic types into the microwave because they become brittle and, and then they will break. Obviously you can stick your normal ceramics in there, hence that's why I've gone for that. I like a cup of tea. Kettles, again, it's up to you. We've gone for an electric, low wattage Swiss Lux kettle. I think that was about 15, 15 pounds, something like that. There's all sorts of camping kettles. Choice is yours, buy what you want. We have gone for the low wattage, just because you never know how much wattage you'll be drawing on the site and what ampage you're going to have. I've then got uh, a cutlery set, I've got knives, a chopping board, scissors, just the normal stuff you're going to need um, once you get into your kitchen. Again, spend what you want on those. I've not gone mad, but you can buy what you want. You're also going to need some toilet chemicals, which I'll... Uh, I've gone for the Thetford ones first of all. This was uh, £12 for this jewel pack. Obviously, again, prices will vary uh, locally and, and for whatever you choose to get, so... You're definitely going to need those. As well as those, you're going to need your toilet rolls. You're going to need, for me, some kitchen rolls, some cleaning stuff, and a larger bin. You might not need a larger bin. We've got one for to go in the awning. Um, the little one that's on the caravan door will probably last about three and a half minutes to fill up. So I've got a bin just to stand freely in the awning. That's personal choice. I think that was about 12 pounds. We've also got here, um, a piece of camper equipment called a Susie cupboard. Once we've erected that, we will uh, show you it, I'm sure, at some point. And it's a freestanding cupboard to go in the awning for some additional space. Um, again, I don't know exactly, I think that was maybe around 50 or 60 pounds. I don't know uh, to be precise, but it just gives that additional storage if you need it. If you're a family, you're probably going to need a bit more space. Obviously, it's just the two of us and a dog. But once you've got your shoes and you've got your clothes and you've got your dog food and you've got your barbecue stuff, you may find you need it. What we haven't got in here that we've also bought are two Van Gogh chairs for sitting outside in the awning. They were um, £45 each. And we've also got a Van Gogh bamboo table. That was uh, £75. So you've got to think about furniture in your awning as well. So that's further expense. And we will also be getting a Kadak barbecue. Again, there's different makes models out there. And also in the Kadak range, prices you can be looking at spending from £80 for the smaller table standing one up to £240 for the large one. So it's up to you what you want to spend. So that really just gives you an idea um, 
of some of the stuff you're going to have to buy some of the things are a little bit sort of the extras really but it's totally down to you when you add it all up you've also then got insurance on top of that which depends on make and model and age of your caravan um, but you're looking at a, a minimum of a couple of hundred pounds you could be looking at um, recovery on your vehicle as well if you haven't got the right um, level of cover for vehicles and you're going to be looking at storage. I know we've managed to secure storage. Uh, a yearly cost for storage could be from £300 to £500 or more. The reality is we've spent thousands um, on these extras with the storage and with the insurance and all the security and, and all of this over £2,000. So the answer is how much are you going to be spending on top of buying your caravan? You're going to budget a couple of thousand pounds. And I think that's realistic. And we've also got a little handheld vacuum for inside the caravan. Uh, we've got a winding cord there for our electric uh, cable. Obviously, with the caravan, we get the caravan step. We've purchased a leisure battery as well. That was £140. We've got the motor mover on there, so we needed the larger battery. Uh, we've got a water pump as well. That's with the caravan. So I think that sums it up. Um, so if you are getting... A caravan I hope you've got a spare room because you're going to need it so today what we're doing because when we got our caravan in two weeks we're going straight off on a holiday and um, because the way it's fallen we're going today with some of these bits to take them over to our dealer who very very kindly said that we can put some bits aside for our collection day because there's no way with us and all this and a suitcase of clothes and the big dog and the dog crate that we're going to fit all this in our car. So we're going to take a few bits over and then when we get there we can put the bits into the caravan and off we go. You must always consider the payload of your caravan. Do not overload your caravan. Our caravan is very large and we've got almost a 200 kilo um, payload in it which is very generous. A lot of people won't have that. The motor mover is an, an additional 30 kilos so straight away you've got to take that off your payload. You've got to think about then the other bits that you're going to put in. The awning, that's about 30 kilos as far as I know. These locks weigh an absolute ton, so they're heavy. These are only a few kilos. When you've got your gas, again, it could be calor or safe fill. That's the 10 kilo um, size safe fill. And I know when it's full, it's going to weigh around 15 kilos. So lighter than the calor, which will reduce it. And we're only having the one. But again, make sure that you add up everything because you may be surprised. If you overload your caravan, you're going to cause an accident. It's dangerous, so don't do it. And think about your nose weight as well. Again, we have got a nose weight gauge. Our nose weight's quite high at 100 kilos. If you've got a caravan that's going to have a large nose weight, you're going to have a lot of weight on that tow bar of your car. You need to make sure as well that your car can take that weight because this is a problem we've had and why we've ended up with a large 4x4 Sanyong Rexton because that tow bar limit's 120 kilos. If you buy a smaller car with a, an 80 limit and you put 100 on it, if you have an accident, you're probably not going to be insured about your safety of yourself and other people. So just think about what you're buying, how much you're spending and what you're going to do with it all. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this. So yeah, right. Let's put some bit in the car and uh, venture off to Stuart Longton where hopefully they'll let us keep it like they've said. And then in two weeks um, we will be in our caravan and we'll show you it all set up. So take care, see you soon.